Good morning, everybody. It's here. The game I've been working towards for, I mean, all month, really. Let's get into it. Let's see how it compares. Hmm. Let's try old school. We've been playing old school Alone in the Dark games. Maybe it's prepared me. Never mind. Oh no. Oh no. Possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out there. Hey, we mailed that thing. Could it be real? In the demo. Or is it all just in his head? Although, it's did we? Story he tells himself, Mr. We didn't Jeremy. quite get the job done. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. <clears throat> Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Hmm. Decision point. I think, you know, we got to play as Carnby just because we spent four games with him. Well, three and a half. I didn't finish New Nightmare. Um, but if I like this enough, I think I'm going to play as both. Let's start with you, though. The outfit alone, right? Looking real sharp. Got to go, Ed. looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Mistake number one. Okay, 
Okay, so up is the notebook, or no? Wait. What was that? Can I get that again? Okay. Oh, that's my... I got it. My flask. We're back on the booze. Okay. We got a... We got a duck and shuffle. How good is that? Mm, I imagine it's not going to be great. <laughs> but hopefully better than Alan Wakes. If we can run... Oh, Jesus. You feel like Alan Wake. I mean, if that's the case, we're in for a rough ride. So I don't have... Lagni apps? Lag... Lanyaps? What is that? I don't know this word. Lanyap. 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 Something given as a bonus or gratuity? I've never encountered this word before. All right. Points to alone in the dark for already... I guess it's a French word. Already building my vocabulary. Is that a... Bit of a nod to the French roots of the game, man. Yeah. So achievements. All right. Louisiana State Board of Private Investigator Examiner's License Number. Well, there we go. Decatur Street, New Orleans, Parish, Orleans. Good until May fifteenth, nineteen thirty. All right, we're good. We're in the clear. Decetto. The old plantation building was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Germany. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. I think we're going to be checking this off, and even for things we've already experienced and, and know, just for the great narration there. All right, so no. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. But that's what the game is. Edward, that's what the game is all about. We're alone, and now we're in the dark. So, mission accomplished. Where's my land yet? Oh, man, it is very dark. Okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, got to get out of there. I wonder if choosing old school means like I'm not getting icons for where items are. I wonder how. Hey, welcome. How good morning. Good to see you. It's spooky time indeed. We're in the dark. The darkness is here. You playing this game? Um, I guess I missed something, right? It's too dark over there. Maybe I need the hand holding. What? What was that? Oh, I thought it was getting like a little cinematic there, but no, it's just all right. Hey, Neo Nemesis, what's going on? Just came to say hi, and I hope you enjoy the game as much as I will. I won't be able to stay, so I don't want to watch too much. Oh, yeah, I get it. So you're playing? Are you playing this? Thank you so much for coming by and saying hi. Yeah, I got to the second disc in um, New Nightmare, but there's something wrong. I can't... It won't let me change discs. Like, it won't recognize me switching the disc. So I'm going to have to play around with some different emulators and see if I can get that working. I must have missed something in here. I mean... I figured go towards the light. Or did I come in here before? Oh, there it is. No, what do we got here? 
What do we got here? Is that a lighter? A flashlight. It's a clue. It's not just a flashlight. It's a clue. <gasps> and a key item. Kitchen garden key. It goes to the kitchen garden. That's a shame. I hope you get it fixed soon. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, you as well. I'm excited to hear what you think about it. Oh, beautiful. So when you approach it, you do get a little icon kind of, um, what do I want to say, alerting you to the fact that you can interact with it. But I wonder what the, the modern setup. <laughs> I found flashlight and 500 gil, and I leveled up. I'm about to get that Carnby limit break. Here we go. The Carn be uh, charge forward. Just gotta wait for my ATB meter to refill. Pistol bullets, supplies. Is that ready to go? It is. What do we got in here? Is that a cat? Is that a curious little cat? Is there a crouch? Yeah, what is this? That's not Carnby. Carnby, we gotta get on those squats, buddy. That's not much of a crouch. <laughs> hey, object power, what's going on? How far into it are you? Not far. Um, stream has been going for like 14 minutes, so I usually like the starting soon screens like three minutes or so, so about 10 minutes. Really, it's um, you would have seen it yesterday. It's just it was just us driving up to the house. It was Emily Hartwood talking about her uncle Jeremy and how he seems possessed, um, and he's sort of taken refuge, taken recluse uh, here in this house, but nobody's here. We're here as, um, I don't know, a bit of protection, a bit of support. She didn't want to come here by herself. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Uh, we were told that it runs in the family. I guess we can turn this off. Wait, how do I turn this off? How do you turn the flashlight off? Is it just on all the time? No, that doesn't make sense. We also learned a new word. Lanyaps. Of French origin. It means achievement. Or, basically. How do I get this flashlight off? That's gun. Let's turn down or nothing. That's my piss poor crouch. That's my piss poor dodge. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to leave it on. I guess I don't need to worry about a battery. I guess I haven't, right? In any of the games thus far, they didn't really account for the flashlight battery. Which sometimes games do. Alan Wake, you got to be real careful hmm. how you're using that light. Hmm. Fetch my fetching stick. Well, my disappointment cannot be overstated. Mustache, you will be missed. Oh, but look at that. If we stay in this house long enough. I mean, look, we got we got sprouts. Also, welcome in. We got sprouts. I want, yeah, I want a deadly premonition style uh, hair growing mechanic. If it doesn't include that, um, it's getting a negative review from me, this game. I want hair growth, and I want flies to start buzzing around Carnby here if we don't shower, change our clothes. Every day or so. As I said yesterday, y'all are just going to have to oblige me as I'm just looking around these environments because I really love I love this time period I just want to look at all this ornate ironwork and all the rest of it it's really nice horseman are you playing this game oh nice try nice try 
I know what to do with you. We light the lantern and we throw it at your ass, right? Throw your your open flame at the trees. We learned that in the first game. That tree is a boss. Just you wait. Can I? That's This is something I miss. That I was just doing a New Nightmare. Can you just let me, even if it doesn't mean anything, can I just come in the menu and kind of rotate the objects, please? Can I rotate them around and look and see if there's anything on the back? I miss that. We need to be doing more of that. Don't just give me a static image. Ooh, is that a clue? I will eventually. I think Dragon's Dogma 2 may occupy me a bit much for now. I keep hearing that. I wish I had prepared and played the first game so I could be counting down with you. Nothing in here. No clues. No clues in the vegetation. You're locked. Why even try? Oh, because I have the key. That's why. Well, wait, I wasn't done. All right, let's let's wait on you. Get that booze. Hey, Frederick, good morning. How many more hours? What do you think about the game so far? It's very early. I haven't really done much except wander around, but um, same as yesterday. I just love the environmental design. I just I love this time period, so I love just looking at all the objects in the world. Um, looks pretty good. It reflects the you know the the size of the studio and the the budget they were probably working with. You know, so I'm not going to be, I'm going to be very, I don't, uh, in fact, I don't even like the trend for us to maybe, like, demand too much from our games in terms of, like, visual fidelity, because we can kind of see the strain that's putting on the industry, right? I'm all for, like, smaller studios, smaller budgets, sustainable work life for the devs. Um, especially if it means for more, like, smaller, unique experiences. So, anyway, I think it looks phenomenal. I think he's going to be... Oh, look at me earning trophies. I did a very good job. I came in through the door I unlocked. Get that land, yep. I would like to... There's got to be a way. How do I toggle this flashlight off? <laughs> You're keeping that on at all times? You're kind of like bleaching out the things I'm trying to look at, buddy. I do. Don't mind if I do. I, you know what? That's a phrase I use often when I find goodies. So, Edward, I'm just going to hand the, the keys over to you. A man after my own heart. How about this? Don't mind if I do? Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you would tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. 
I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, Gris -gris. of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. Wow. Oh, it's still going. Horns. All right. So we got like a Marvel post credit sequence there. If you just wait... They'll keep going. They'll have a conversation after they read everything on the screen. We got to be aware of that. Got to collect those clues. Devil's shoestrings. I wonder what the devil's shoestrings look like. What kind of knot does the devil use when he ties his shoes? A Grigory is a talisman. I'm just looking at a few here. Oh, I missed a couple here. All right, let's let's check it out. <clears throat> I think it is perfectly fine that we get a cyberpunk or Elden Ring once in a while, but it's not healthy for the industry that is starting to be the norm. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I love, I mean, I played through Spider-Man 2 not too long ago, and my God, what an experience. I'm so glad it exists, right? And there's space for that. I guess I just mean, like, like a lot of people were maybe looking at the visuals of this game and judging it harshly. Like, oh, it looks janky. Like, I think it looks great. Like, I don't need it to look like those games, right? Um, and I don't think it should, right? Because then that's how studios go under, right? When they just staff up over what they can really assume to make on a project, right? It just, the budgets don't, you know what? They're bringing in revenue. It, it doesn't uh, justify the staff that they would have to bring on to get it to that level, right? And then you end up with fewer unique, interesting projects. But yeah, I agree with you. It handled it pretty well. Right on. I mean, it read well to me. Um, PC flashlight can be toggled on and off with the V key. Velcro. All right. I wonder what it is on PS5. Is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Have I been playing on PC too long? I didn't even think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, R3. Click it in. There it is. Thank you. I forgot to. I feel like. I don't know. How did I not? Mm. Anyway. Moving on. Being overambitious, even in just one area, can kill a small studio and easily kill any project, right? I mean, we've seen a lot of it, right? A lot of stuff that a lot of people were looking forward to that just got canceled. You know? Deus Ex, right? That, I mean, I don't know what the deal was with that, but that got canceled. That Time Splitters uh, project, that got canceled. I blame the Embracer group for a lot of it, right? They just bought up too many studios when they had the money, overextended themselves, and now they had to just, like, cut everything because they had no business buying all that. We actually got... You know, if this were Resident Evil, it would just be the most disgusting concoctions ever seen in this kitchen, but... I mean... You know, is that raw chicken? That doesn't really get my, my my tummy rumbling, but the bread looks really good. All right. 
actual edible foodstuffs. Uh, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided was pretty badly mishandled by the publisher. Yeah. They tacked on all that... What was it like the... Uh, was it called Breach or something like that? That mode that they were... Just, hey, let's find a way to just turn everything into a living game so we can keep monetizing it somehow. Even if the game is not suited for it. I mean, most recently, I haven't played it, so I can't really say, but I didn't really like the look of how the uh, Suicide Squad game was shaping up. It seemed like it just had too much of that going on. Uh, what was the other one? The arcane game, Redfall. I had, like, zero interest in playing that. Might even be pretty good. I don't know, but just... It's not my kind of game. Rat poison! Another lanyap. Wait, that's a, that's a... Am I misunderstanding this word? No, yeah, we're, these are like achievements. These are French achievements. Tacked on that breach mode, the microtransactions, the pre-order bonuses that you can only claim once on one save. Yeah, that was insane, right? Um... <laughs> Yeah. I can't I can't believe what was that? Anyone had that idea to begin with, but then the fact that it made it through. They are not essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uh, uncover forbidden knowledge. They carry carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Carnby and Emily's campaign. Alright, well let's be on the look for So we're we're looking for a rat poison set? Maybe we gotta collect them all. Rat poison, what else? Maybe like, uh, what else do we think we're poisoning? Cockroaches, maybe? Maybe like a roach motel? The monsters check in, but they don't check out. Did I get in under here? Oh, yeah, thank you. What do we got going on here? Uh, okay. Oh, I see some roaches. We do need that poison. I've never seen or heard a dev say they like stuff like that is always a publisher, right? How could you, right? Like, you gotta believe most devs are in it because they love games, and... I mean... As gamers, most people are pretty aligned on, like, that shit sucks. It is working, after all. <laughs> While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Who sabotaged it? Hmm. We got some shenanigans going down. Sabotage in the boiler? What? To be honest, I think we should just kill every publisher, not the people, of course. I would never call for the death of some of the more evil... Oh, wait. Only the companies, of course. That doesn't look safe. Dev-run industry. Uh, I'm with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm terrible at these. Uh, okay. Is this what we're doing? Or is it really just putting in a piece? Mm -hmm. No, we're going to put in a piece, and then we're going to have to move them around, right? It's missing two. We're going to... Pop one in, so there's one spot remaining, and then I'm... Oh, God, these are the worst. Okay. Something to look forward to. These are... their web. You were telling me about this, yes, because we were talking about... Yeah, I'm always bad at those. All right, so we're not going through here, right? But what if I just had to find out for myself? Yeah, I, I guess... Right? I know better, but I just had to know. I just had to know. I use one for War Tales. I remember, like, getting one of those as a child. You know, you, I don't know what the situation is in Norway. But, like, back in the days of arcades with a lot of, like, coin-op machines, you know, they had, like, the... In addition to all the real video games, just, like, bullshit games, just, like, ticket dispensers, and then you take your tickets to the counter and you get some just bullshit prize after playing the bullshit game. It's always, like, a... A yo-yo, some sticky hands, some Tootsie Rolls or whatever, some candies... I remember getting one of those one time, and on the car ride home, I was, like, fumbling with it. Not making any pro progress. I'm thinking, why did I do this to myself? Why would anybody do this to themselves? 
I actually love the block puzzles. RE4 Stockholm Syndrome, I suppose. For, like, the inventory, like, your suitcase? Because I love that. I love Tetris. It's something about having only one spot, right? Having to line everything up. I don't know. Like, I block myself in. I look at that very differently, but I'm totally with you on RE4. We didn't have much of that in Norway, or if we did, it was before my time. Might be too regulated to be profitable. Yeah. Maybe a more American phenomenon. I actually had to solve one during the portion you had a controller. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Um, I think I do re recall that then. But I guess I didn't make a much... That's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm, there have been some games that have really messed me up, but I'm trying to remember what games. I need the key. I need the key. Anything targeting kids is going to be pretty regulated here. Yeah, I mean, I don't... It is, like, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Getting kids ready for adult gambling in, in some ways, right? Because it is, like, they're just non-games most of the time. I mean, some of them are, like, I guess sort of games of skill. But mostly it's just, like, flashing lights and, and mechanical stuff just, like, going on a, of its own accord. You put in your quarter, you watch it go, you press a button, you get the illusion that you're doing something, and then you get a number of tickets. On the other side, and you, you spend, what, like, $5 to get something that costs 10 cents at the prize window. It's how they do a lot of the gambling here in Japan. They can't actually have, like, money exchange. I like pachinko and stuff, so they give you all these, like, prizes there. So I'm, so I'm told. I've never actually... I popped into one once. Um, and I considered, like, checking it out just for a life experience. And then I decided, you know, there's plenty of experiences in life that I just i am fine doing without. Why even waste the money just to say I did it? Because that's all it would have been for. Also, I'm looking at this brush. Jesus, look at that thing. Can I get that as a melee weapon? Man. That's dangerous. It's a fucking ice pick. No goodies. Um, though I do love me some attache cash. Ca attache cache. <laughs> That's a combo words. Um, attache cash management say that five times fast um yeah no it's the best right there was that one game that came out i i either purchased it or wishlisted it on steam i'm trying to remember which as you know i sometimes forget i own games but it was just that it's just like the inventory management from re4 that i've yet to play sunday june 22nd i spent all day looking for jen i should have cared for the others but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on the desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lady. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself. It will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to her. The rot. I think maybe you have to be able to buy all the prices directly in order for it to be legal here. Oh, prizes directly? <laughs> Sounds like that's for the best. Yo. <laughs> what you eating? We don't even know, because you did a great job. Good Eater Award. They finished everything on their plate. Whoops. 
Your set of floor plans. A clue. The map is a clue. Okay. I almost, it, for a second, I did read that as pizza key. I'm not going to lie. I don't have to hide who I am. Nice. My first inclination was to see that as pizza key. And then I, I'm also not going to lie, I was a little disappointed when my brain corrected the mistake. It's not a pizza key. <laughs> You're with me? Thank God. <laughs> uh, all right, we got to go back to the piazza. When the moon hits your eye like a big piazza pie. Wait. Can I get a zoom here? No, that's a change floor. What? Is it down? That's the library. All right, let's just keep going up for now. Hey, fight, what's going on? What if you were alone in the dark, but it was actually a pretty well-lit hotel? <laughs> what if? What if we turned this off and just played the whole game? No light run. It's wedged shut. Well, I feel like we can deal with that. What do we got in there? Not using the pizza key. Head cannon is, head cannon is it's pizza key. I'm gonna, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hmm. Looks important. Looks important. Because you're not allowed in. 25 hours until Dragon's Dogma 2. One more sleep. One more sleep. Are you going to sleep? Can you sleep? Or are you going to be too excited? Wait a second. It would have... Uh, hold on. Because I'm going back down. It was... I was looking at the... It was right here. Oh, I don't know. Look at this pizza. I don't know about that as a topping, though. Y'all like greens on your pizza pie? I'm going to stay up until around noon, then sleep until around 8 p.m., then go to the store, buy snacks, soda, chocolate milk, and easy-to-make food, then suffer for the last few hours. Hell yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Chucky Milk and DD2 sounds like a dream. It yeah. does. What's everyone's favorite gaming beverage? What do you drink when you're really getting into it? Oh, no. See, I want to look at you, but then that's going to just wash out all the the deliberate hues that the artist chose for their... I mean, that's a nice work. I've been impressed with the art thus far. What do we got over here? What do we got here? I don't drink anything special. I would drink coffee all day long if I could. I limit myself to two cups here in the morning, but every once in a while when I'm feeling frisky, we do an afternoon coffee as well. But uh, if I were left to my own devices, I would probably be dead within the week. Caffeine poisoning. Water is king. Yeah, I'm with you. Coffee or water. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were do what are you doing? <laughs> I was supposed to be lighting you in. Oh, pardon me. I'm just over here looking at art and pizza. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Wh where? Right. <laughs> Y'all come out at once? <laughs> That's right. I'm Emily Hartwell. We got a fucking party going I here. Sure I thought it was empty. Was right. Well, he is unavailable right now. 
You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. Go set, tell you. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about that. And uh, that does confirm your suspicions. That scene. That was ghostly, right? In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. All work and no play makes Carnby a dull boy. We've got some shining vibes happening here, I think. By volume, water, coffee, Mexican Coca-Cola. How is Mexican Coca-Cola different? I think I've heard this before, but I'm not uh, right. knowledgeable about it. Are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Oh, I have a pocket full of clues. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Another one? <laughs> They're going to be... All right. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of that, I guess, by the look of it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, I was thinking Edward is looking a lot like David Harbour, and wouldn't you know it, he's the voice... That, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is... This is David Harbour, all right. And I'm liking his performance this far. I mean, he doesn't really have to do much. I really just... He's got one of those presences on the screen, right? I'm just immediately... I don't want to say like enraptured, but I mean I do like I do like him a lot. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. That's the mask. The days until my that we were painting in the demo. Spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? Apparently so, yes. I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you? To you oh man. Thank you so much. Chapel, rising above the ledges and the oh, thank you so much for the gift sub. I, it surprised me because I just changed that alert. Rest, and I shall so much appreciated. You rule. Thank you so much, Frederick. I know I missed a couple messages here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, David Harper. Uh, real cane sugar, I think. Okay, that's what the difference is. You skipped my preferred drink message, did I? I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. I think because you're the same color as Fight on my chat window here, and it blurred them together. I'm a fan of Pepsi Max. Oh, you told me this before. That's right. I wasn't familiar with Pepsi Max. Chocolate milk. And then other than that, Oh, wait, other than water, that's all I really drank. I think good choices. Good choices down the line, everybody. Yeah, um, Mexican soda has real sugar rather than corn syrup. So Mexican Coke should just be the same as European Coke. Hey, Silent Shelf, welcome. Hello, hello. Fight is gray in my chat. Yeah, you're the same green in mine. Although, if I switch over to... Mm, no, you're the same there, too. Sometimes it's different depending on where I'm looking at you. Um, by the way, if you pick a color, you will be that color for everyone rather than random. I picked this green years ago. 
on black and light mode. I guess I never really messed with it too much. I should do that. Okay. And also be better about reading messages. Um, okay, so at the end there, let's see. Anything I could do for you, but bury you in the bleak necropolis. That triumphant chapel, rising above the ledgers and the oven vaults, shall be your sepulchre, where you may rest, and I shall weep. You're not reading anymore? Oh. How did you first come there to understand go. such things, senor? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. David Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Mm. Uh, you can change it in chat identity, the gem icon left to chat. Yeah, I think... Maybe I did do it uh, for myself once or twice. Calendar fact, the average woman's uterus expands up to 500 times its normal size during pregnancy. 500. Now that blows my mind. I did not know that. Or left of the text input box. I've had this color for so long now that I can't imagine changing it. I haven't really paid too much attention to mine. But uh, I should get on that. 500 times. That's wild. Typing that fact made my uterus hurt. <laughs> Reading that fact gave me a uterus and then made it hurt. The people of Deseto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All would be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Beauregard. When you hear the name Beauregard, I think you're in for a treat, right? I just. I love the, the way that name sounds. It means you're. The people of the I mean, it's very. Uh, what do I want to say? Illuminating as the kind of like either location or time period that you're playing in, right? Reading it made me glad I don't have a uterus. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's God, yeah. Can you imagine anything in your body becoming 500 times its normal size? Take me, put me back in the world alone in the dark. Things are less scary in here, I think. The dark man. Oh, no, I don't need to read this. The dark man offered yeah. me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark path. Everyone is safe, except for me. I like this. A lot of times in like scary movies, you get like the kids scrolling like big black portals. You know, like there's the scene where the mother or whoever looks at their notebooks like oh my god what are they drawing and it's like monsters coming out of like this big well like in the ring or something but here we got kind of the same but some actual like real technical skill which I think makes it less creepy right oh boy I don't have any excuse to wait on that anymore do I I guess we gotta go do it here we go well, wait, there's some more clues in here, I'm sure. Let's really look. That's a clue. Look at this clue hanging in space. Oh, it's a, that's conversation. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. 
Sounds like a clue. Take me away ya to tear away ya. What if you were alone in the dark and uterus was expanding to 500% its usual size? <laughs> Whether 500% or 500 times is the same for me. Luckily, yeah. <laughs> what if? Um, before her mission in 1983, NASA engineers asked Sally Ride if she would need 100... I've read this one before. This is really funny. 100 tampons for the week of her period in space. Her savage response? No, that would not be the right number, <laughs> according to a 2002 interview published by NASA. <laughs> I... Uh, I saw that somewhere along the line in my life, and that's that's really funny. <laughs> Is this enough? Uh, and now we gotta solve it. Oh, oh, can I? Oh, easy mode. Look at this easy mode. Okay, never mind. That that's my kind of block puzzle. Just pick them up. Pick them right up. Yeah, just pluck them out. That's what I always wanted to do with those things, right? Hey, It'd be so much easier if I could just rip them out of here. Sort of Pop them back oh, in. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy, too, if I had this much junk lying around. Uh-oh. A painting? Swallowed in cloth? Is it Pikmin's model? Oh, wow. That's striking. Who is that? That looks like a I face I know. Sandman? From Spider-Man 3? What's that actor's name? Kind of looks like him a little bit, right? Is that him? Is he in this? Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. 500% of zero is zero. That's true, too. Oh, if you're a dude, it's your balls that expand? Oh, my God. Miss Hartwood. <laughs> 500 times. Emily? Uh-oh. Five hundred percent of Emily is also zero because she's gone. What the hell is going on? <gasps> Where am I? Oh God! Well, what? I thought we were out in the sticks. I think we were, right? Are we in a town now, or did it always back up onto the street? Oh hell yeah! It might not be enough if her uterus was expanding 500% its normal size that week. <laughs> Is David Harbour supposed to be Nigel Thornberry in this game? Because he ain't pulling it off. Um, he is Edward Carnby. It's the same Edward, but Edward changes. Edward is more of like an archetype, you know? An idea, uh, a prism through which humanity is reflected that changes throughout the ages, you know? Sometimes he looks like Nigel Thornberry. Sometimes he has a, a pencil mustache and he's in the Wild West. Sometimes he looks like Chris Angel and carries a triple-barreled shotgun. You just never know which version of Edward you're going to get. He contains multitudes. I guess we're going out into Spook City. What if I just stalled and lingered? And did I look at this? I don't think I looked at that one. Oh, we can't possibly get in this door. Look, it is. Look at that. That's barred up tight. Yep, look at this obstruction. No way. No way. I don't think you would have asked, where the hell am I if the house was in a town previously? That's a very good point. But he sort of said that... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
I didn't know if he was referring to, like, it looking creepy mode. I mean, it's pretty obviously in a rural location, yeah. But I'm in the habit of asking questions that I kind of already know the answer to, as well as the questions that I don't know the answer to. We're hiring for longshoremen. All right, well, if the PI gig doesn't work out, we can be a, or a crane operator. Pay is what? $35 a day? I imagine that's pretty good. And is that good? 1920s? Oh, I hope we're going there. A Maccabean nightclub? Uh oh. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Oh my god. Now you're on the trolley. If he was Nigel Thornberry, I'd have a crush on him, and I don't, so he doesn't pass the test. He <laughs> doesn't pass the Nigel test. A little less David Harbour, a little more Tim Curry. That's what's necessary. Can I sneak around you? Yeah, Swamp Thing's off doing his own thing. I love the fact that you ask questions with obvious answers you already know because it lets me answer in a matter of fact way that makes you look dumb. Or maybe I'm just very good at obscuring the fact that I didn't know. Which still makes me look dumb. <laughs> Ads coming in two and a half minutes. Be prepared. Farmer's market. What do we got going on at the farmer's market? We've got the biggest covered market in Louisiana with the best food from farmers in the state. The New Orleans Pelicans versus the Memphis Turtles as a baseball game. August 7th and 9th. The game starts at 7 p.m. at the Pelican Stadium. Be there, be square. David Harbour's if, uh, oh wait, not nice. <laughs> David Harbour's efforts are appreciated, though I still believe Christopher Walken is a better fit for Carnby. It's the intonation. <laughs> I would love to see that. Can we get the Walken mod? Ooh. I can't go that way. Yeah, that's that way leads to Silent Hill, and that's not this game. So let's turn around. Alone in the Silent Hill. Alone in the hill. Silent in the dark. Where did the swamp thing go? Maybe off to tend the green. You know, we got the rot. We heard about the rot. The rot is related to Animal Man, you know, from DC Comics. And then swamp thing does the green. Items can be thrown at enemies used or used to distract them. Tap R2 quickly. Too quickly. Throw, wow. Reading's off this morning. Hold R2 to aim. Probably because I'm out of practice because they've actually been reading for me. I don't have to read 50 pages of uh, text like in the last game. When do you get the Santa outfit? <laughs> it's probably uh, what a monetized, commodified DLC, right? Alone in the silence. That's good, too. So far, a little more. Together in the light. Um, ads are coming. 30 seconds. So I'm going to take a quick break while those are going. And then we'll start throwing some things and distracting some things. So, see y'all then. I'll be right back.
All right, thanks everybody for hanging around. There's like 30 seconds of ads left. This actually gives me a chance to check. I meant to check it before. Um, what's the best way to do it? Let's see. I feel like I know that dude that was in the picture. I think it's, I don't remember his name. Um, played Sandman in Spider-Man 3. And then, uh, what else have I seen him in? Sideways? Maybe it's not him. Who do we got? Oh, I see Yuri Lowenthal's in this, as in Spider-Man. Another Spider-Man connection. Maybe the only Spider-Man connection. I feel like I would recognize his name if I saw it in the cast here. All right. Maybe just me. Anyway, let's get back to Together in the Light, the opposite of Alone in the Dark. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, did I pick it up? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> just I just punched that shit right out of here. <laughs> Fuck the distractions. I'm going in hot. I'm going in guns blazing. I don't play it that way. Um courtesy box for auto patrons. I guess I should sprint, huh? That was a hell of a sprint. Can I get another one of those whatever it was? Was it a rock or something? <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Are we stuck on the flowers? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Adhered in the dark. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, all right. I think, yeah. We're not getting out of this one. Carnby, you really gotten yourself into a pickle this time. Um, is there a recent... Okay. Not too far back, right? We're just here at the beginning of the French Quarter. This guy's favorite word is definitely yeehaw. Yeehaw is a good one. Has anyone ever just like done a full throated, like put your whole body and soul into a going on? one just sort of uh, extremely loud yeehaw that just echoes through the hills? I am picking it up. Wait, what are we doing here? <laughs> what? It's not listed on my... Oh, sh man, I'm making all kinds of mistakes. <laughs> okay. It said R2 to pick that up, right? Where did it go? It looked like I just punched it out of existence. I'm kind of confused about... <laughs> what just went down? I think it's a very American desire. All right, let's, we were already here. Let me just go back. Am, what am I? Am I doing something wrong here? Am I confused about something that doesn't warrant confusion? I think I just grabbed it, but then where did it go? I would think it would be on my D-pad, right? Also, did I? I need to do this, right? Into your inventory? Detective do I? I don't think I have an additional inventory, right? This is all just notes. Oh my god, can I stop drinking my booze? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? What? Maybe it automatically... Does start and select? Start takes me to, like, this menu. R L one so L one gets a zoom in. R one doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's the aim. That's the fire. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the melee here. Um. The text tells me what to do and what I'm doing. Oh, really? So I was right. It's not something that warrants confusion. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. 
Am I doing something really? Am I, I making like some? No, I want to. I didn't get goodies out of there. Okay. Load, save, and then properly read the text. Yeah. What if I tried that? What the hell is going on? Am I? Th Wait. What? Oh, I. Huh. Okay. No, I mean, like, I understood that. I thought it was going to do that once it was, like, in my inventory. And then I went up. Like, I was hitting the action button trying to, like, pick it up. And then I thought this would be the mechanic after I already was holding it. You tapped it, which throws it. Yeah, like, now I get it. You can't carry it with you. That's what I was misunderstanding. Then you hold R2. Yeah, I just, I guess I was caught on the idea, like, how things like this usually work, which is that you pick them up and then they're in your inventory and then at that point you would be using those mechanics. But no, you just gotta like, so use it or lose it I guess, basically. And we lost it. <laughs> oh, We're all full on trash can booze. I think it's meant to be used and lost. Yeah, I'm with you now. Thank you, though. I can't go that way. Is that a green hoodie you have on? If so, twins? Oh, yeah? It is. It is a green hoodie. Is that what you're rocking today? Johnny the Conqueror, Roots and Medicine. Well, I'm definitely going in here. What do we got? What are the specials? We got supplies. We got herbs. We got roots. We got Gree Gree, right? Shells and candles. Of course, that second end is sort of like is chipped away. So then maybe it's Johnry. Johnry the Conqueror? That's a more unique name. Johnry? Joffrey? Yeah, but I'm getting a haircut. I can't wear a hoodie at a haircut, so I need to change. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jarvis' store. Jeremy did this. How? Packed with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth to die. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in the way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Got some. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess. You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you could find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Maybe a reference to this? John the Conqueror, also known as High John the Conqueror, John, Jack, and many other folk variants, is a folk hero from African American folklore. Oh wow, I don't know this. This character. Cool. Good catch. Were you familiar with this character before, or did you just think to check it out? African American hoodoo practitioners place high John roots inside mojo bags for protection, victory, empowerment, good luck, love, and protection from evil spirits. Definitely a reference to this. I was not, but it sounded like it was something and not just a random name. You're on it. I was just going to take it as is. Like Carnby, I'm not a thinking man. Not if I can help it. These are, I like these keys. We got the Fleur de Lis on there. Nice. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. There are two belong to Dersetto, one for the clerk's office and one for the library. What are we going to do with all these dang keys? Preserve reptile? That's a lawn, yep. If I ever saw one. 
That's a long yep because of its length, right? Nothing. What do we got here? Djembe? Another one. We get a drum circle going. Not just a random name, very fitting reference. Yeah. Where are the didgeridoos at? My uncle plays the didgeridoo. And then I had uh, some aunts that were into like going to drum circles. That's why I'm pretty sure it's a gem bay. So, I remember some like family reunions. We'd have the didge going and some drums, and it was uh, it was something. They were preparing me for a future with Alone in the Dark. You want to come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. All right, I think we're done in here. Joe's Fabrics. Need a new suit? Prices to fit your pocketbook. Finest quality materials, best workmanship. Only perfect fit guaranteed. Please visit us at St. Denis Street. St. Denis? You never know, right? I know when I moved to Nashville, there was a lot of like French street names there too. And I remember like asking someone, like, oh, do you want to meet at Demombrun Street? And they're like, Demombrun? It's like, I think it's a French word. Is that how we say it? They're like, oh, you mean Demombrian? Yeah, let's, uh, let's meet up over on Demombrian. You never know what we Americans are going to do with it. And left to our own devices. A pipe. Oh, hell yeah, it's about time. Nice. Nice indeed. Just in time to use it. Wait, how do I use it? There we go. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Already? Okay. Well, so it's a breakable weapon. We just found that out. Man, we must have been swinging with ferocity there. We broke a, a god dang pipe. African American culture is always interesting. Since slaves were separated from their families, they lost most of their ethnic and cultural connections to Africa and instead created a new and wholly unique culture. Today, African American culture is essentially a fully American culture, one of few American cultures. And New Orleans is like really its own, you know, you got a mix of all these different cultures coming into it and creating its own unique thing. It is, I got the chance to go down there once and spend like a week, and uh, it is a very cool place. I tend to like sort of get down in my own country like uh we just sort of have like a monoculture right we have american monoculture but there are pockets of like genuine it's in the appalachia too but just like unique truly quintessential american things and uh i think if i had to pick one place new orleans would be it right all right so am i wait am i nearby it's giving me that oh here it is all right, so, right, you're not picking this up. Now, I wonder if I can carry it with me. I can. I'm going to be, like, slow walking for the remainder, but let's launch this right into... Do we want to go left or right? Maybe just send you over to that truck. I did a very good job of distracting. <laughs> okay, that was so stupid. <laughs> I'm, like, standing right in front of it, illuminated by the headlights, considering my options for how to stealth around <laughs> the creature. Okay. Maybe I should turn the light off, huh? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Are you following me? Oh, yes you are. 
yeah. Yikes. Oh, we're stuck. I think I'm just gonna take you down then. Oh, there's more? Wow, yeah, we are kind of like... Alright, this is a, a bad scene. <gasps> oh, I'm just assuming. <laughs> there's no way there's anything on these stairs. Roll, Carnby, roll! Oh, that's right, I do. I forgot I had to dodge. Um... Saying America is a monoculture is like saying Norway is completely ignoring the other native ethnic groups and cultures. No, yeah, I I know what you mean. Um, what I mean is like the sort of American projection out into the world, it's like these days. Like, how is America identified in most respects? Like mm, Hollywood, McDonald's. You know what I mean? Like a lot of like multinational corporations that sort of are centered in our country. And. Uh, and there is a lot of it, right? I mean, I am speaking from, like, I lived in a number of places in the U.S. Nice, I missed this last time. And you do get a lot of the same sort of chains, right? Can't because with our economic system, it's sort of, like, gradually reduced unique individual options and culture into, like, a lot of chains and stuff like that, right? They just have the presence everywhere, and they're taking over, like, architecture as well, right? So a lot of the places are looking the same. And that's all I mean. It's not to, like, not recognize that there is culture in the midst of that or be in spite of that. I just... But it is easy to forget, right? It's easy to focus on all that and lose sight of, like, a place like New Orleans. But even places like this are endangered of being, like, gentrified out of existence, right? Or just, like, bought out of existence. Okay, so we're going to do everything differently. Nothing that I just did was a good choice. <laughs> okay. Um, not that there are a lot of continent-sized countries, yeah. The U.S. is definitely a bit aesthetically monoculture. Yeah, that's a big part of it. It's surface level, but at glance, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is the surface level, right? Because, you know, I grew up in a rural place, and there's a lot of culture there, right? I mean, I spent my childhood going to, like, I don't know, like church homecomings and like bluegrass, like live events, you know, and just like outdoor farmers markets and stuff like that. And you go to those places and like, oh yeah, this is this is American rural cult culture, and it's um, it exists in other places, but it's something, right? It's not all McDonald's, but then you get over here. I, I get it a lot here, right? And I got a lot in China. Like, oh, you're American. Do you just eat hamburgers all the time? Man, I, I alerted you again. I went backwards. I guess because I'm thinking about society. <laughs> can I just launch this at you? I can, but it doesn't do it anything. Let's see what it takes to take you down. I'm trying to hit that, oh, the protrusion, the little bulbous whatever. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting that task done, am I? Because I'm dodging. Oh, right. I can see it on the right. I don't know. What was that? So that was an expensive mistake to make for a second time. Masaka. Crumbie lost his flowing locks. Hey, Radio Fishy, what's going on? Welcome. Masaka, indeed. All right. Now that we have this place to ourselves, no goodies, I think. It was better off. I like this Carnby redesign. I like it a lot. Yep. I got really excited for this game. Uh, I was looking forward to it, but then playing the demo yesterday, like, oh, man, I'm really excited about this. I just love the look of everything. I love the character designs. I'm into it.
Yeah. I'm trying to get the achievement where you ring every bicycle. I don't know that it is an achievement, but it should be. I hope it is. It might be, actually. I was, like, thinking. I was, like, patting all the deer heads and, like, Alan Wake, too. Like, I wonder if that's a thing. And I think that is an achievement. And I think I missed a couple because I didn't get it. But I think I looked after the fact and it was a thing. All right. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Get your D-pad straight. I'm just... I'm boozing when I shouldn't be boozing. One. Not really pistol bullets, then, is it? Pistol bullet. Plus one pistol bullets. Mm. Mm. Let's drop a foot in there. Oh, yeah, I can see you up top there. Whoa! Uh oh. Hang around. I'm not doing so hot. I especially prefer this over his look in Alone in the Dark 4 and 2008. I can't speak for 2008 because I haven't played that one yet, but for, yeah, New Nightmare was very much like, oh, this this is showing its age. This is showing it's a 2001 game. It is some 2001-ass character designs and general vibe, right? And I liked it, but... Definitely can uh, time and place itself on that front. Oh, one of you? Oh. You took a lot to go down. You're probably going to take everything I got. Or not. All right. Never mind. You actually found a good picture? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Not my favorite Carnby. That might actually be my least favorite Carnby. He kind of looks like Bon Jovi a little bit. He kind of looks like Bon Jovi in the John Carpenter's Vampires movie. Yeah, this is what I, I thought I was going to meet you on these steps. I thought it was one of y'all. Okay, nice and empty gun. Just the way I like it. Juju. Man, yeah. Can I get some, like... No, no lore. Just, uh... Okay. You have an axe, though. At least it looks like you do. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, in the in the attempt to pull it out, I once again drink from my flask? Which I guess wouldn't be so bad right now. Um, yep, I keep forgetting about that. I guess because, right, I keep assuming I'm going to pull it out as like a fully-fledged weapon, but no, it's just um, bound to R1. i got to be doing that. Well, now the gun can't hurt anyone. That's right. Hey, Dr. Frosch, what's going on? It was worthless anyway. Did you see that thing? A single barrel? Pfft. Child's play. I only take barrels upwards from two, preferably three. Saw next to the gun in the corner. This place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's done. Oh man, thank you so much, Frederick. Thank you so much, man. 
So appreciated. You rule. like the one in the painting. In between there are doors. An old talisman... Yeah, I gotta read this one. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. What if I were, what if, can we imagine if I could just rotate that bad boy in front of me? I would love to do that. I wish I could do that. I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Hmm, is there? Is that a note I already had? You recognize this place. It was Miss Jackson's seance room. The last time he was here, he had been trying to figure out the significance of what Big 242. And horse hair wrapped up in red silk. An image of a dead woman stabbed with hat pins flashed inside his mind. Jesus. He shuddered. This was no time to dwell on the past. He needed to find out about the talisman and get back to their settle. Stabbed with hat pins? Wait, let me let's take a look at a hat pin real quick. I feel like I know what those look like. But it's not something I interact with. Good God, yeah. Yeah. That's rough, man. Ooh, some of those are pretty long. How does the hat pin function now that I'm thinking about it? Is it just for decoration? A decorative and functional pin for holding a hat to the head, usually by the hair? In Western culture, hat pins are almost solely used by women and often worn in a pair. They are typically around six to eight inches ooh, in length, with the pinhead being the most decorated part. So just to keep your... Are hat pins illegal? Frequently asked question on Google. Numerous countries, including the USA and England, imposed laws restricting hat pins over nine inches in length. Over nine inches? I feel like, actually, the longer it gets, the less of a problem it would be, right? Because then it would just easily break. Are you just, like, are you brandishing your hat pin like a fencing sword? I mean, I feel like maybe around, like, six to ten inches is the sweet spot if you're going to, like, stab somebody with it, right? That's where I feel like it would be most likely to be used as a weapon. No, we're not going to oblige you and your three-foot hat pin. That could really, that could put somebody's eye out. I mean, it would, right? Actually, yeah, because especially if you're popping that in your hat and then you're just trailing this long blade behind you. I feel like longer is better. You want reach? I guess I just mean, like, it would be hard to, you know, you'd have to use it like a sword, but then it's it would be kind of brittle, right, maybe? I guess depending on what it's fashioned out of. I think I would be more frightened of, like, a... A hat pin that could be easily like stabbed forward, like around six to ten inches, right? Then like a, I don't know, several feet of hat pin that I could maybe like keep my distance and like see coming, and then like jump around or like kick out of the way and maybe break off at the midpoint, you know? What is everyone's hat pin defensive strategy? Anyway, let me look for some other clues, and I guess I gotta look at Jeremy's notes if I don't find any. Oops, maybe I already have the the answer. Is this one of the no, I don't even get the... Okay. That's Yeah, that's why I came in here in the first place. Wait. Talisman with black sunstone. A navigational... An ancient navigational tool found inside a... Chenier? Along the Bayou Tonkre? The old... Grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the scrapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Wait, how many? Oh, these three. I was looking at the outer ones. I can't interact with those. Um, three, five, eight. But then it was like a, well, let me look at that again. Or can I look at it while I'm doing this? No, I can't pull it up. Oh, maybe this isn't giving me the the orientation right, because that's just a, like a one, two, three on top of each other. Three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. Oh, I'm like focused on numbers, and I can actually see that there's an. Right? That aligns with itself. And then here. Is that it? But then, what about this guy in the middle? Oh. Are you doing the same thing? It's not about that. lined up before, right? That lines up the circles. Three, five, eight. Do I see any connection between? How does that get me started? Twenty four till Dragon's Dogma two. Getting closer. Just one day. One full day. Huh. Um, I don't know. Do I have all the information I need? Three, five, eight. We got I see threes, fives, and eights. Whoops. Do I have any other notes? The numbers needed to span a bridge between the, scra the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Hmm. Anything in here? Oh, yes. There it is. Yeah, three, five, eight. Okay. Wait, I can't even... I feel like I need to be looking at that when I'm trying to do this. I'm going to take a photo real quick. Do it that way. If this is even... I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes.
five should be right above the four and the six. Like here, maybe? Mm, I don't know. Wait. Or the three? No, that doesn't. That's not right. <laughs> um... Or is it? But this should be... No, maybe that is right. And then the two right above that. Like that, but then... This should be... That doesn't make sense, right? Because it's not aligning these circles. Oh, that. Maybe that. Is this here? No. Hmm. I tried this, right? This like lines up that circle. I don't see how the three five eight is coming into play to be honest. Three. Like the three is missing on that outer circle, and then the five is missing on the next one in. But then the eight is visible on this one, right? There's no five on this one. So I thought maybe it means it needs to be on top of the three or something, but you can only go two, four. Are we adding or something? Huh. Huh. I think this is where I... Like, I can't really do anything else until I figure that out, maybe, right? I don't have any other... I have keys for Dorsetto. Can I go back there? And keep that simmering on the back burner in the brain for a little bit. I feel like I have all the, the notes I need, but maybe I don't. We don't go in the fog. Which leaves... Oh, shit. I wonder how easily the heck. Uh, let's find out. Okay, we shouldn't uh, be trying to actually take you all down with that. That should be like a means to create a window for escape. Follow me in the house? Can I? You are. What a couple assholes. Maybe I can just. No. 
I'm out of booze. Yeah, they just follow you everywhere. We can't close doors. Carnby, I need you to close that door. earthquake it's a uh, decent length on that one yeah we're, we're still shaking a little bit nothing crazy nothing's toppling over so I would say not a big quake but it's they can be deceiving sometimes right you think you know where it's going and then it just like kicks kicks it up a notch is it a webcam hard to tell since the camera's bouncy um, oh my camera here yeah it is it's a um, just a webcam on top of the monitor yeah, was it bouncing around? I imagine it was. Alright, I think we're in the clear. On both fronts? I can hear y'all out there. I can't remember what these keys went to. They went to two things within Dorsetto, though. I probably just need to figure out that talisman. How long would it take to brute force every combination? Not too long, right? Then it makes sense that it was bouncing so much. Monitors don't tend to be very rigid. Yeah, nothing, uh, <laughs> none of my furniture is very rigid. I've got a lot of cheap everything, really. So it sways and bounces around a pretty good bit, I imagine. At least their stands aren't, yeah. You all out here? You're somewhere. But right, what a couple assholes. What? There we go. What? Am I worse shot than I thought? What about my, is my hatchet gone? <laughs> Did I break it? Did I break the, all right. Well, actually it's time for me to go to work. So what a place to end it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder Ooh, the most recent save I feel like I should go back a little ways I've been eating shit out here um, at least it's not negative progress today I mean how could I, I started the game today although I've been known to do that I think I'll be back tomorrow I'm really enjoying this I love the environment, I love the lore monsters are cool it's got good spooky vibes I'm interested in the narrative feels pretty good I don't play it pretty good, but it feels pretty good to play. I imagine there's a lot of people playing this game. We're actually going to be able to find some people to raid when it comes to Alone in the Dark today. Who do we got? Thirty-six point nine thousand viewers. That is a big change from the last week. Let's find a small channel. Oh, we still got people playing the original game. That's cool. Who's got a good pun in the name? Do we have any good puns? They're just generally good stream titles. I didn't really do much today. Nothing special. Lily in the Dark. Oh, I think the name Leland. Maybe that's what it is. It's dark and lonely. I think we're out of the English zone here. A lot of... Uh, A bone in my shark? Alone in the dark. A bone in my shark? Mm, how do we feel about a bone in my shark? Hmm. Hmm. Lovecraft tentacles spooks. 
Not bad. Darkness got nothing on me. A new streamer. New streamer tag. Let's raid a new streamer. Crazy funny gaming, playing alone in the dark. Let's see how it's going. Maybe they figured out the talisman. And I can accidentally see the, the solution. All right, we're going to raid Crazy Funny Gaming. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for the gift subs, as always. They're so much appreciated. Really, thank you. It means a lot. Um, I guess next time I talk to you, you'll be playing Dragon's Dogma too. so I'm, I'm excited for you. Enjoy. I hope it's everything you want it to be. And I hope everybody's, everybody's day is everything they want it to be. I hope you all have a wonderful whatever you got. I'm going to head on to work. I think I'll be back tomorrow. If not, definitely this weekend. And we'll do some more Alone in the Dark. So, see you all then. Be well.